So, time for Moy's gluten-free kitchen. I'm seeing flour. I'm seeing eggs. So this has to be some sort of bread-like, biscuit-like something that Moy is presenting to us today as she deglutinizes, trying to make a one recipe at a time. Moy yeah. Lovell. What is it? It looks like cuckoo from a distance. If I, if I didn't try Ooh, to put these You know you need to stop? Because you started with biscuit-like no, and then you cuckoo-like. Because if I didn't put these clues together on glancing, it looked like a nice round of cuckoo. Yeah, <laughs> not quite what we're going for, okay, but, but, but no, no visually, matter. Visually. No matter. Visually, at least it's something that is recognizable and palatable. Like, let's go with that. I'm going like to feel cuckoo? happy. No, that's not the point, my dear. Make the point it, It's me. about what it is. What? <laughs> so it is, it, it is flour, flour based. Okay. Here's the thing. How often do you bake bread, Joel? Very, very, very... <laughs> not often. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like not, not at all. I'm not a baker. I'm not a baker. And you don't do it. I'm not a baker. What if I told you that you can have bread in under eight minutes? Under eight that minutes? That tastes really good. I have to knead the flour. In under eight minutes from start to finish? I have to knead the flour. You have to do something with the flour. Something the flour, flour. you have to use. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Under eight minutes? Under eight minutes. All right, I'm working with you. What if I told you that? How that, would you feel? I mean, I'm working with you. I, I, You're I, working I'm not with feeling me. overly excited here because I don't <laughs> bake bread. <laughs> but I'm working with you here. Let's but go. Here's the right. thing. Mm -hmm. So we're doing two things that are really good here. We're doing something for the gluten-free community that right. is much easier than the last bread recipe that we've ever made. Okay. Because it's, it's very simple. It's gluten-free. Right. And two, it's super quick. There is absolutely no reason to get up in the morning and not have fresh bread. In eight minutes. Eight minutes. You can actually have it in two. But no. You know, because I like a little bit of drama, we're going to have it in eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. We're going to start. Sounds too good to be true. Too good to be true. And you know what kind of bread we're doing today? Yeah. This has no gluten in this bread. Well, yes, but that's a given. It's a right. nice gluten-free kitchen. Right. That's a given. We're actually going to do coconut bake. Go ahead, Moira Lovell. <laughs> You were actually going to do yeah. coconut bake. Let, let's make that clear. So we're going to start with flour. All right. We have some flour here. All you need to do, and I have already taken out your third cup. That's about all you need to make a single serving. Just take out a third cup of flour and drop it into this yay bowl. I have to take out exactly a third cup. Yeah, about that. We'll talk about your measuring technique another time yeah. off camera. Yeah, no, because that's actually one of the reasons why I don't like baking. Because when I cook, I can experiment and throw things in. But baking, it has to be precise, not so? Well, in this case, we don't need to be as precise which is why this is lovely this process is absolutely so lovely I'm, I'm liking it now yeah I'm liking so we're, it now. We're, we're going to be add a little it. bit I'm liking so the, yay much that's great a third, a third about a, cup. a third right. you need to season that up with a little bit of salt so here's some salt if you want to go go to town yeah. you have mm -hmm. ah, yeah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> brilliant yeah. coconut coconut bake we're making mm -hmm. real things we put in a little bit of sugar in that just you go ahead. I am not telling you how but, much. But would you, how, would, how much would you suggest though? Like uh, Maybe like about a, a teaspoon or half right, a teaspoon because right, you yeah. don't want it sweet, sweet. Right. Yeah, right. Mm, that yeah, looks about that looks a Joel spoon. Yeah. Yeah, that's looking real mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm. And you know, I love to have... Smell it. What's that? Ooh. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Ooh. You make, we're making coconut bake. We're not making some kind of fake mm. somebody here, you know. You bring the real thing here. The real deal. Yeah. That's but, how we do it. But this but, is strong, yeah. eh? Because so yeah. I was not going to tell you. This is that throwing thing you're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's not going to work. Uh, that might be right. just good, yeah. This just is strong. Just good enough. So you've Ooh, put. I haven't seen this in a long time. Right. Mm. So you've put in some flour, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, so it's seasoned up. You can mix that up. I can mix that up. You have just a spoon a here for me. You have everything here for me. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just mix that up a little bit. You need to add some grated coconut. Now we're doing it the original way. Yeah? Grate the coconut. Grate the people coconut. Grate the Please. coconut. Please. Because this is coconut bake like almost grandmother used to make before yeah. they had the um, micro. Well, anyway, let's move on. Some okay. coconut. Coconut. Put it in there for me. Right. Drop some coconut in there. And that's nice and seasoned. All we need to do next is add some kind of liquid to that. You have an egg, one egg. Crack an egg into that. Actually, you know what? Because I want to make sure that this rises just a bit, even though the egg will do the job, mm. I'm just going to give it a little extra help with a little tad of baking powder. So okay. I put that in, right? And I just whisk that in, right? A little bit of baking powder. 
Good. Add one egg. Add your egg. You're real working with it, though, Mario. Oh, yeah. Well, you're, real you're the though. host. Yeah. <laughs> you're I'm just real here working with it. You know. yeah. Am I mixing this again? You mix that up. You should have a fork somewhere. You know? I do. Go, go, go ahead. You said. But I go do ahead. have a fork. I do have a fork. You want me to use your fork? Please. Well, I thought I had a fork there. All right. Mix that up with your fork. And because we're going for a nice, rich flavor, we're going to, because it, 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 it's really still not liquid enough, we're going to add some milk. This is actually coconut milk. Go ahead. And I just want to add just a tiny bit of oil because you know what? When we want to taste this, we don't want someone to say, oh boy, this eight minute bread tasting like eight minute bread. Right. So it mustn't taste like only eight minutes. No, 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 no. It's got to taste like it came like from it some kind of... big for half hour. Well, something like that. Yeah. A real special place it came from. That's it. You see that? That's it. That's that. Your bread done. Right. Well, not done, but... The mixture is basically that's together. It? That's it. It's nice and liquidy. And that's it. You're putting it in something that can take heat. Can take heat I'm using my little ramekin here. You could put it in a cup of joe cup if we had one available. But right now, we're just going to poison this. Yes, a cup of ramekin. A cup of ramekin. <laughs> <laughs> and here's what we do yeah. next. Mm -hmm. You can put this in your microwave. This is my first step for a minute. A minute? Please. Please indulge me. You want to put it for a minute and 10 seconds? Go right ahead. A minute and 10 seconds, please. Indulge me. Put it for a minute and 10 seconds. A minute. That's a minute. Because when that's, that's done... Come on like that. No. Oh, Remember I said I could give you bread in a minute right. or two. Right. I could. Right. I could. But I want to do a little bit more. Very good. In the meantime, you're making coconut somebody... And I made, not cuckoo, but I made <clears throat> my flavored cornbread. It has all the lovely spices of rosemary <laughs> and some pimientos, pimientos, pimientos. <laughs> and some cheese. Right. So while your thing so is a cornbread, is a cornbread, wow. you can. Would you like to try a piece I of my will. cornbread? And I can have it with my and butter. And have with some butter, please, because my cornbread. That is the same process. The that, same that process. process. We have uh, one little other process too. Mm -hmm. But while you kind of slicing that up, your little three, two, one is is happening. I will take care of that. You, and I can handle it. Try to slice that. I'll be right back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we inside Moi's gluten free kitchen. She just made. No, this is actually a one minute bread. One minute bread. This is actually cooked. Very well. It's hotter. Eh? I, I just. And you just. Allergic. I'm just interfering with yeah. it. It's mm. actually cooked. But I don't want to stop here. I like my bread. You see that kind of color? Like, you see that color? You don't like. If that. I took that out, it looks a little bit souffle. Yes. And yes. like. Yeah. You yes. give that to somebody like yeah, they, want, they want to appreciate. Yes, yes. So what I do next is I simply take it out of the ramekin, very mm -hmm. simply. While while you're buttering, you can butter. I taste, can butter. Taste, taste right. stuff, I, I finish work. You finish work. I finish work. I, I finish want work. you to tell. Can I taste? Please, I want you to tell them if that texture is not like the real deal and better. Tell me. I take this out and I drop this in my oven for well my toast oven in specifically for two minutes and i toast it and i get that and my bread is done in eight minutes flat tell me how does your cornbread my herbed cornbread taste same process how does it taste it's a very good morning oh well, thank you mr joel villafano isn't it excellent you must never not have fresh bread in the morning and when it comes to gluten-free, this is probably the easiest way to make some gluten-free bread. You don't always have to use eggs. There are ways to do it where it's totally, totally um, vegan or vegetarian and you can use your nut milks and so on. But right now, you just did a bread. We did it in, well, kind of halfway here in about two, three minutes. But the total process takes a lot less than 10 minutes. And, and I know it tastes in good, <laughs> Okay, that means it's tasting good. This is very impressive. Thank 
you. Very impressive. Very impressive. The the, the recipe is on your on your website. On the website. You can also share it with us, and we can put we it can on chaincooks.com. Um, this is this is fantastic stuff. Uh, obviously, my I, I normally call her my gluten free super girl. She's now super woman because ah, she she's I'm really doing. doing I mean, she always amazes me as in terms of the things she comes up with. She's now chefing things up in our Trinity Cooks artisanal brunches ever so often. And Mona Lovell, deglutinizing, trying to make a one recipe at a time. She did, should this, I call it a two one, minute bread or an eight minute bread? We should, let's call that five. five let's call bread. this one five. This one we seasoned it up because why be boring? Yeah. We put some rosemary and a little pimento and a little bit of cheese in our cornbread. This one has a little bit of some kind of coconut something in it. This one will be a coconut bake when we're done. And nobody is going to come to your house and say, Oh God, what's that? More than Lovell. Moy's Gluten Free Kitchen. Thank you very much, Moy. I'm going to finish this cornbread because it's tasting very good. Thank like you. Like fresh bread that you baked and baked and, and baked. baked. <laughs> <laughs> and baked. <laughs> We take a short break. Thank you very much to Moy, a gluten-free kitchen, for dropping by this morning inside Trinity Cooks Thursday on a cup of joe. We're coming back because lots of action. I'm rolling out my own recipe next from trinitycooks.com, so don't move.